Hey everyone, MTAST here, and today we're going to be looking at the Doomfang Pauldron, one of my favorite exotics right now for the Sentinel Titan, if not favorite exotic overall because of how fun it is to use. Every time you melee an enemy and kill it, you gain an extra shield charge. So you turn into a shield hucking maniac with four, five, six, nine shields that you can throw around decimating your enemies. You absolutely have to take the bottom skill tree for the Sentinel if you want to take advantage of this because you get so much shield energy back that you won't have enough to throw. Horns of Doom is a fantastic perk if you want more AoE damage, such as if there's Void Burn in the Nightfall, it actually turns the Defender Titan into something that will work, something that will do so much AoE damage, so much bouncing damage, I would say that this competes with some of the best classes for that in the game, such as the Dawnblade. Also, when you don't have your super, every melee ability helps recharge your super, and it's really, really good. If there's a bunch of thralls around, a bunch of easy enemies like these Vex Goblins, you will absolutely shoot up in super energy. Now, part of this super energy gain that I'm getting is because one of the skill perks in the Sentinel uh, skill tree, the more enemies around you, the more super energy you're going to generate, but still, Doomfang Pauldron is a great opportunity to get your super back when you're getting these melee kills. Then, you pop that super, huck a million shields, clear out everything in the area, and it starts to feel really powerful. I always knew that the shields were good, but when you get four or six of them instead of two or three, you really notice how much damage these output, especially when you do something like a public event. Enemies are flooding in and you just start hucking shields? God damn, it's like Captain America on steroids! I'm telling you, I really think if you play Sentinel Titan, you have to give these a try at least once because this is one of the funnest builds I've ever played in Destiny 2. I mean, we're a week into the game. I haven't tried everything, but the Doomfang Pauldron, it's a damn good exotic. They work in PvP, they work in PvE, and they bring a lot of value to the table once you land your melees and get that shield back. I was about to have one, now I've got two, and I can just start hucking shields and missing them. <coughs> but I can huck them! You see? Oh no, that wasn't a shield! This exotic is almost too good at doing its job. I sometimes feel like, God, I have all these shields, I d there's too many shields to throw. Just kidding, I never feel that way because I love these shields! Fuck yeah, look at that damage! If you've ever used the shield throw ability, you know it is one of the most satisfying abilities to use and get kills within the game. So, when you can get two of them with the Sentinel bottom subclass tree, and then you get the Doomfang pauldrons, and you can double or triple the amount of times you get to throw these shields in a PvE activity, or you get an extra shield throw in a PvP match, it feels good! It feels real good. It's rewarding, it's fun to use, and when you don't have your super, you can gain a ton of super with just melee kills. So the next time you're doing a public event, there's a healing rift down and a bunch of thralls chasing you, just start punching the shit out of them because you're gonna get your super back extremely quickly. Overall, I think this is a great exotic to use. For the Sentinel Titan, it's one of the best. The other one that I would highly recommend trying out is the Mask of the Quiet One, because while the Mask of the Quiet One doesn't give you as many shield throws, you get your health back every time you get a Void Kill. So there are multiple very good Sentinel Titan exotics, so you need to kind of mix and match, try them out, take a peek at what you think has the most value, but the Doom Pauldrons, they're fantastic if you want to kill things. That's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys very soon. Tomorrow is raid day, so I'm going to try and make a guide as soon as I finish the raid. If you guys are having troubles, make sure to check out this channel, because I'm going to be bringing the heat. I'm going to be bringing the raid guide, and you guys are going to love it. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye bye